When the word Lastafari is mentioned, the first thought on many people's mind is Jamaica. A Caribbean Iron nation located thousands of kilometers away from Africa. But again, in the songs of several Jamaican musicians, including Bob Murray, the group Carter, and the Rich Spice, the name of Ethiopian former ruler Harry Serasi features prominently. Sparking the question, what is the link between Jamaican's Rastafari culture and Ethiopia? On April 21, 1966, Serasi made a trip to Jamaica. A visit that had a major influence on the connection between Jamaican's Rastafari to Ethiopia. Thousands of Jamaican people received him at the airport in the capital city of Jamaica, Kingston. To many Jamaicans, Ethiopian successful resistance on European colonialism warranted admiration. Ethiopian forces defeated the Italian army in March 1896 in what is known as the Battle of Ador. In October 1935, however, the former Italian Laura Benito Mussolini renewed Italy's interest in Ethiopia. And after a six-year battle, Ethiopia again retained its self-rule. But before Italy's second invasion of Ethiopia, something had happened. Harry Serase had been crowned as an emperor in November 1930. After the death of Empress Zauditu, the daughter of Menelik II. Menelik, who had no sons, raised his nephew Harry Selassie as his own child. Selassie's birth name was Rij Tafari Makunen, and after being crowned as an emperor, he adopted the name Harry Selassie, a Amharic name to mean the power of Trinity. Ras is an Ethiopian title of prince or duke, and Tafari was Serasia's given name. So Rastafarians got their reference from Serasia's title and name. A section of people from Jamaica draw inspiration from Ethiopia's history. Historians say that at least five factors endears Ethiopia to Jamaica. First, Ethiopia is one of the only two countries in Africa that weren't colonized. Another one being Liberia. Two, Ethiopia was the founding member of the unifying continental bloc, African Union. 3. Ethiopia's dark skin, similar to that one of Jamaicans, brought about a sense of familiarity. 4. Harry Serasia's influence as the leader of Ethiopia gripped many Jamaicans who believed that he would protect black people from slavery. 5. The Jamaican activist Marcus Garvey had reportedly prophesied that a Jamaican king will be crowned in Africa in the coming years. And Serasia's coronation in 1930 was seen as the fulfillment of Marcus Garvey's prophecies. According to a section of Jamaicans, when Serasia landed in Kingston in 1966, Jamaica experienced a series of interesting events including rainfall, which was perceived as racings. At the time, the country was under the drought. Jamaicans who believed that Serasia had divine power planned a trip to Ethiopia, which was branded as the promised land. In 1950s, Selassie gave 200 hectares of land to foreigners, including Jamaicans, at Shashamani in Ethiopia. Their settlement on that land gave rise to uh, a community of people who identified themselves as Rastafarians. Selassie, who was born in July 1892, died in August 1975 at the age of 83. This is Tia Travels. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and also share my content to your family and friends. Ciao.